Oh, shalom, Rastafari. Uh, let's now touch on, um, seeing that we've touched uh, at least briefly on Tanakh, and to answer some of the questions that have been asked concerning concerning Tanakh here, um, what we want to touch on next is concerning um, Rabbi. Rabbi, because we find there's Rabbi in the Scripture. So let's 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 erase this. Um, because the question is, there are some of our Ethiopian Hebrew diasporic um, Jews, speaking of our people here in the Americas and the Caribbean, who were the first proclaimers, such as Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthews, um, such as uh, Rabbi Josiah or uh, Arnold Ford. And, and others that have adopted or used rabbi within their name or title. And some of our brothers and sisters, being a little bit zealous, but still properly um, focused on the testimony of Christ, they say, well, Christ teaches us not to call ourselves rabbi. You know what I'm saying? He says we should not call ourselves rabbi. But what is the meaning of rabbi? So let's let's try to understand from the scriptures what rabbi and and rebbe, what does that mean? Well, first of all, let us understand a couple of important things. And please take take some good notes in this. We're gonna to touch on this right here. So this is the Rabbi, the rabbi lesson. Now, Bamarinya, we say, uh, uh, re, B. We say, uh, uh, Rebbe. You understand? We say, uh, so the rabbi, you understand? We say, uh, Rebbe. So this is uh, Re, and this is B, uh, Rebbe, right? Or even in another sense, we say, uh, 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 Re, Bo, Ni, there's there's a, a, a riboni, a, a riboni, right? Which means our our rabbi. But what does rabbi mean, right? It means our a, a rabbi, right? Now, when we look at this word a rabbi, you understand? Because what we want to do is break down some of the parts as we break down some of the components. You know, saying of Judaism and of our ancient way of life, then as we go through the scriptures, we'll be able to understand the context, the context in a better or a more complete sense. Now, our rabbi, our rabboni, is Yehoshua HaMoshiach, is our black Lord and Savior, is Jesus Christ. Now, we make that statement, and we'll back that up as we go through these teachings, but this is some of the basics right here. Now, rabbi is a title of respect, meaning master. So this is a title of respect that means master, right? That means master. It means teacher, right? Master, teacher. And it's given by the Jews and by the Hebrews to their teachers and spiritual leaders and often addressed to our Lord. So it often has been addressed to our Lord, like as a Riboni. You understand? A Riboni, or, or our, our rabbi. Now, another term, or another form of the title was a Riboni. The titles were used with different degrees of honor. So there were different degrees of honor according to to the teaching on rabbi, there were different degrees of, of honor. Firstly, there was the lowest, the lowest degree, right, was known as rab or reb. A rab was the lowest degree. A rab was the lowest degree, right? And um, which basically means, means master. Right, master, or in the sense of master teacher. Then 
we had the second degree, or rabbi, which is of the second degree, and rabbi, rabbi means my master. So the difference here is the my, it means my master. You understand? With the extra E or I or A in some pronunciations. Now, the greatest of all, the greatest of all was Reboni. Was Reboni. This was the greatest of all. Reboni or Reboni, which means my master, or some will say our master. You understand? But the conjugation of Reboni or Ribaani, Ribaoni, would mean our, some say, our master, or our Lord. You understand? But that's the greatest of them. Now, the term Rab, this term right here, Rab, what's interesting about this terminology, Rab right here, is that Rab was also used in Babylonia. This is where this particular terminology has come into the Hebraic and consequently into Judaism from Babylon. So this was a title in Babylon where it was used also in Assyria to mean chief. So it has the idea as well of, 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 of chief. It also can mean and means chief. Then we have the Rab Mag. Now let's put this right here. You have the Rab and M-A-G, the Rab Mag. Now, the Rab Mag was the chief, right, was the chief of the Magi, right, of the Magi, the chief of the Magi or the chief of the Magi. Some say the chief of the magicians, the chief of the magicians. Now, Christ, our Lord and Savior, our Master in medicine, he says to us that we should not be called, he says that we should not be called rabbi, you understand? And here's where many say that those of our um, leaders, even though well-meaning, perhaps were wrong, in ascribing to themselves this name because they say it's contrary to what our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior has, has, has taught us. Now, let's understand this pretty carefully. Now we broke down the meaning. So let's go first of all to Matthew 23. What we're going to do is turn to New Testament. So take good notes if you're following along so that you can also um, follow up and find out whether these things be so in, in the scriptures for yourself. Study and show yourself approved. Now, the first reference we're going to go to is Matthew 23, Matthew 23 and 7. Let's go to Matthew 23. Yeah, Mateus Wengel, Mi'raf Haya Sos, or 23, Kuter Sabbat, Kuter Sabbat. Now, here it says, Bamarinya ask Edmo Besama Awal Mrs. Kadusa how do I'm lock it says Begebiyam Salamtana Memhirhoi Memhirhoi Tablo Indeed Aru Yewedalu. It says and greetings in the markets and to be called of men Rabbi Rabbi verse Kutara uh, cement verse eight and then below Enant again, memher tablachu atitaru, memherachu and silahone, enantem hulachu when the mamachanachu. He says, be, But be not ye called. This is where he's teaching his decamazamorit or the disciples, and this is a part of discipleship teaching as well. A very important link with discipleship teaching is this particular testimony of. Yehoshua HaMoshia, where he says, And none to gain but you all, Memehira Tablachu Atitaru. Don't be called. Don't have ones call you Memehir. Now, Memehir, Bamarinya, means a, a, a teacher in the sense of a scholar.
scholar kind of a teacher. You know what I'm saying? An, a, an exceedingly scholarly teacher or, or like a professor. Today we will use the terminology professor. So a rabbi or rabbi would be similar to our modern use of, of, of professor. It says, Memherachu, but your professor or your primary teacher, almost like the dean of the college, and one hand and Sulehone, because he is one and non tem, and you all, and all of I and I. And Nantem Hulachu and and all of you, all of you, when the mamach, when the mamach, which means brothers, really it means the brotherhood, and we all are the brotherhood. When the mamach nachu, this is Matthew chapter twenty three verse eight, and then it goes forward to the other well-known and well-talked-about verse among some, where he says, Abatachu, and your father, Andu, Arusu, Yesamayu, Nawuna, and your father won, and he is of the heaven. And for he is of the heavens. He is one because he is of the heavens. Bemidurlai, Mananim, and upon the earth, any abat belachu atit atitru 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 don't don't call. So on one hand, he says atitru don't y'all be called, don't you all be called. And here he says atitru and don't you call just men and people, earthly men and people, father, father as is done in modern um, Catholicism. They do a lot of father-father um, business of everybody who happens to wear so-called kala is a father. Then he goes on in Asr in verse 10 to say, Likachu, aunt. And your, your learned one is one, Arusum Christos. Arusum Christos no wina. And your learned one this probably be more accurate with the scholar, and but the translation neither be ye call masters. Likachu, you understand? Likachu, he says, is one. Likawint tebalachu atiteru, and don't us be called masters to say like master scholars, so forth and so on. Verse eleven is the key. Some say. Uh, and he says, Kanantem, and from you all, Yami Belto, the one from you all who is, in a sense, greatest or superior, Yami Belto, Kanantem, Yami Belto, Agelgayachu Yehonal, Agelgayachu Yehonal, your servant, the one who serves you all. Yehonan will be the one who serves you all. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, shall be your servant. Now, this particular area of Scripture, though we didn't begin it from the beginning, is where he's speaking a word to the so-called scribes. He's speaking a word to the so-called scribes and Pharisees or those who sit in Moses' seat. In other words, those who occupy that seat of authority within the community, within the community at that particular time, like the religious leaders and the religious one, you know, the, the religious authorities. He's giving some very important words about it. The scribes and the Pharisees, they sit in Moses, they sit in Moses' seat. But now let's understand what he's saying here. He's saying the scribes who are the writers and the Pharisees, part of that religious that a religious group that was the leading religious group. It's like if we say today in the Ethiopian sense the Orthodox or the Orthodoxy. You understand who sit in Moses' seat as Afochina Sarasawiyan the Musay Wendera Tekema Toal, the saying the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Silezi Yazelzu Achun Hulu Adargu Tabukutim 
ነገርግን ይተናገሩ ያደረጉትምና እንደ ሰራቸው አታደርጉ he says all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe all that they are commanding you silizi yazaz yazazu achul hulu what they command you to do adurgu do do what they command you to do taba kutim and and keep it and protect it and preserve it negergini ye tenagaru but 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 as they speak ayadur gutimna but they don't do as they speak in the saracho like their works you know what they actually do atadurgu he says all therefore whatsoever they bid you or they command you observe that observe and do that that observe and do but do not ye after their works for they say and do not in other words this is like speaking to the religious or the religionist so called people of today you know saying speaking to that uh, so called religious religiosity of today akut arati says the kabadna aschegari ashkem uh uh te bitbo te bitbo be so tekesha yich nalu and our sukin that atacho sinqua lia nekut i would doom for the bind heavy burdens the, the 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 see this is the key between true christ spirituality and so called the religionist the modern religionist perspective just like the pharisees and and the jews speaking about the jewish leaders and authorities like the scribes and pharisees in Christ time for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne and lay them on men's shoulders they lay these heavy heavy religious so called burdens on other men's shoulder but they themselves will not move them with one finger you understand with one finger is speaking to the hypocrisy that we find even today within so called christian religion or religion in general but especially christian and so called judeo christian religion it says let so wim kutara mes le so wim di tayu saracho wino hulu ya dargalu selezi asha ashina ashina kitaba chuin ya safalu zarfunin ya sa rezmalu but all their works they do for to be seen of men but all the works that they're doing in other words it's a outer kind of a religion is to be seen of other men they make broad their phylacteries or 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 what one will say the the um the tefillin you know the 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 uh um, the boxes you know the phylactery the phylactery boxes on the forehead bamarinya we call it the ashin kitabach the the ashin kitab or plural ashin kitabach when ya safal they make these things broad they enlarge in the borders of their garment so you can see them coming then in in kutar this it says the misam ye kabreta sifra the mikurabima the kabreta when ber it says and they love the uppermost rooms at feasts or at lunch time they like the honorable places to to eat in the honorable spots and 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 the chief seats and 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 to occupy or to sit in the 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 chief seats the rabbi seats in other words these chief seats the honorable seats uh by mikrab It's like in some of the churches, you know, they usually have the three seats in the background, almost like in the kind of a very sort of Masonic way. And ones would like to sit in those seats. You know, the pastors, so-called the pastors, in the position of pastor, in the position of so-called reverend or preacher or bishop or something else on the Christianity, as they adopted these things from the Old Testament Judaic ways. that was very curious they have adopted this in modern christianity but from the bible christ was condemning these sort of practices but these are the very practices that you find front and center in most churches to this day which is very interesting so when they read this do they understand 
or understand what they are reading. Now, verse 6 now connects us with verse 7. In our main verse where Christ, he's saying to the brothers, he says, um, 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 that in the Begebiyam Salam Tana, in other words, Begebiyam and in the market Salam Tana, the Salamta, they like the Salamtas or the Shalom's, of Memher Hoy, Memher Hoy, you know, the praises, Tablo and Dit Arui Weddal, Kutara Cement, and on to again, but you all, but we who have come to him. See, this is what he says, those who hear his word, remember, those who hear it and do it. So it's not good enough to hear this word, but we must also practice this way in even our keeping church or in our community. You understand? Because he emphasizes now here in this verse, Christ is emphasizing the brotherhood. This is one reason why we also have adopted to use the phrase Wendem Yadom within the within the the house, within the society, among the brothers and sisters. In the world to the world we are Arasia Dinos Tefari. You understand? But to our brothers and sisters we are Wendem Yadin. We're Yadin or Wendem Yadin. We're brother Yadin, the Yadinos. In Nantegin, based on this word, Memher Teblachu, being called Memher Atitaru. Don't be called that Memherachu and that our true rabbi, based on the Targum, and the translation, our true rabbi says, But be ye not, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master. For one is our master. Even even Christ. Now, what's interesting right here, if, if, if this translation is, is correct, we're looking at the, the Yot uh, program. You see, even Christ is there in the, in the King James uh, version of it. But because we're curious about it, we won't go to the actual text. The computerized program is good, but occasionally it might have some errors. And sometimes when something feels like an error in some way, it might be an error. You understand? The, the key thing is to, to search it out. That's what the wise will do. You might think, like, I feel like you're in error, but go search it out because the error could be on your own, on your own part. Here's in Antigen, Memher Tablachu Atit Eru, Memher Rachu Anda Silahone and Nantem, or Hulachu, or Wendamamach Nachu. So he's saying that we are all. Brothers, so it is correct here that even Christ's part right there is more of a parenthesis. It's something that was added to that. So when one say, "Well, who is that one?" It's emphasizing that Christos, that the Christ is our master. He is our master, or moreover, Christ Yehoshua is our rabbi. He is our rabbi, and all of you are brethren. But moreover, all of you are a brotherhood. You see, if we look at Christianity today and why there's so much division and hypocrisy, is because they have not really heard spiritually the teachings of the Master. They have not really paid attention and done it. They may have heard it, but they have not done it. You understand? They, 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 they may have heard these things and, and read these things and preached them to other people, but they don't recognize that these commandments of Christ are for us who say we are coming in Christ to others. So some were saying, why didn't we call ourselves rabbi? You know, Rabbi Yad, and we said, uh, no, nah. that would be nice, but maybe too nice. And this word of scripture kept coming back to us, kept coming forward, forward ever to our consciousness, that we are not to be called rabbi. But here's the key thing, it emphasizes the brotherhood. This is what is so key and interesting about what is touched on here is that it emphasizes it emphasizes the brotherhood. The brotherhood is being emphasized. Now I want to go to this uh, this uh, New Testament recovery version. I don't know if you brothers and sisters have been able to go online to the Bibles for America and to order a copy. It is, it's, it's very it's a very good, um, interesting, and a crucial study. And what we want to do is just compare sometimes key verses where we're trying to get as best an understanding of it. Um, 
here the translation says, um, but you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, and you are all brothers. So they recognize that the even Christ part, even in this one, which is a slightly newer translation, but also very much more accurate. So some of the errat or errors from King James have already been weeded out in this recovery, um, New Testament recovery. And do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father who is in the heavens. Now some say, well, this means you don't call your earthly father father. Well, of course your earthly father is your father. It is speaking of in these religious or spiritual ways. This is the key one has to understand. In these religious or spiritual ways, there's only one concerning the spiritual things of God in Christ. There's only one who is our Rebbe, and that one is Yehoshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our one rabbi. So he is our rabbi. We might refer to other ones who have already called themselves rabbis, so you would know who we're speaking about, and you can go look them up or find out what we're speaking about in that sense as a hi historical sort of thing, but not in an actionable way. So when we are speaking of our Rabboni, our rabbi, it should be understood by all of the brothers and sisters that we're speaking of Yehoshua HaMoshiach. Now, here, as we go to the, the footnote right here, it says that Christ alone is our teacher and master of the spiritual things. So for us to have any other spiritual authority, outside of Yehoshua is similar to spiritual adultery or, or fornication leading to spiritual adultery. If we're to refer to any others as, like when they say, well, there's many um, spiritual masters and religious teachers and Christ is just one, that is blasphemy. That, that's atiyafino. That's blasphemy to I and I. That's blasphemy to us and to any true Christian who's understanding and receiving this word in truth. That is blasphemy. They may be a religious, spiritual authority among those who follow them, but they're not our teacher. You understand? They're not, they're not our master. And that's the key thing right there. It's not just that one is calling himself by a title. You may be a master at, at, at any other kind of profession. You understand, any other kind of a worldly kind of a thing or any other related thing in life. But to say that one is our, like Buddha is our master, is blasphemy. To say that any guys and gals nowadays is our master, you understand, from a Christ in his kingly character perspective for us brothers and sisters and mothers, it's blasphemy. You understand, it's an insult. It's an insult. And that's also what, what, what uh, hurts a lot of our progress. We, we may not be able to perceive, perceive it on, in that way. But that also affects our spiritual walk. You understand? Especially if we are familiar with these things. And this is one reason why I, I feel the Holy Spirit is saying to us to, to preach, preach on this and to put this out and to really clarify this significant point. And this is a very significant point. Who is our Rebbe? Yehoshua, our black Lord and Savior, is our rabbi. You know what I'm saying? He is our rabbi. And here's the word that backs that up. Now, God alone is our heavenly father. Now, it doesn't mean to disrespect your earthly or temporal father because it's honor, father, and mother, so your days belong in the land which the Lord thy God, who is our ultimate father, our Ab, the forefather. You understand? But what it's saying is in these religious ways, it's like if you see these type of Christians today and others who call men and people father. And some of this has even crept in among Rastafari too, where we call each other father, yes father, yes father. We are not to do that if we are in the teaching of his majesty. You understand? And this does not mean that maybe a one may not be like a father figure. You have to understand the, the big difference. But to whom honor is due, give honor to whom honor is due. Christ is our rabbi, and Nagus Neges Kedamawi Hala Salah say, He is our father, or Abba Kedus, Kedus Abba Tachin. So the teaching here may seem like a small teaching.
but it's, it has very it has a very great a very great um, import to this particular teaching. We're going to move on because some of these teachings, sometimes even when we're studying, you know, one can go into like I said, the wee hours of the morning, and it's very beautiful. It's very sweetening to the soul to learn to learn the truth. And we hope that ones and ones are taking good notes and also will make the time. You understand to open up their heart and their mind to the half of the story that hasn't been told until now, until this day and age of Rastafari revelation, the revelation of the King of Kings and His Christ, Yehoshua Ha Moshiach. Now, in moving forward, let's kind of move forward with this particular teaching. Let's let's try to move forward as best as we can because there's a couple of other points on the Rabbi as well. So. When um, we go to John's Gospel, for example, in John's Gospel, there's much mention on Rabbi, John 1 and 38, 1 and 49, John 3 and 2, you understand, John 3 and 26, um, John 6 and 25 on Rabbi, Rabbi. Now, we have a Rabboni, a Rabboni. Now, it's interesting who says Rabboni? Now, remember, Rabboni, we learn from studying from our rabbi lesson right here, we learn that Rabboni is the highest. There's, there's three, there's three um, degrees. There's three degrees of honor of Kabur or Kaburita. There's three degrees, and the highest is Rabboni. Now, if we turn our Bibles to John chapter 20, let's go to John chapter 20. John chapter 20, verse uh, 16. What does it read in John chapter 20, verse 16? It reads that Jesus saith to her, Mary, she turneth herself and saith to him, uh, Rabboni, or Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Which is to say, Master Bamarinya. Um, I think we made a little error. We go go back to the the the, the writing of it. Um, it says, Yesusim Mariam Alat. Yesusim Mariam Alat. Arswa Zawara Bela Be Ibrahist. Here it says, Be Ibrahist. Be Ibrahist Rebuni. We said Rebuni, but it actually. It would be Bamarinya, Rebuni, 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 Alechu, Turguamewu, and the Turgum, or the Targum, as the other Jews would say, we say the Turguame, or Turguamewu, Memehir Hoi, Memehir Hoi, Maletno. So she called him Rebuni. She called him a Rabuni, or in, in the King James it says a Reboni. She called him a Rabuni. Now, what is interesting is that the only other mention of this is in Mark 10 and 15. Let us just backtrack for a moment. Um, Mark uh, 10, and, uh, 50, 10 and 51. 10 and 51. In 10 and 51... It says that, and Yeshua answered and said to him, What wilt thou that I should do to thee? What do you want me to do to you or, or to say for you? The blind man said to him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. But now here it says that in the, in the revised version, it says, a Rabboni, a Rabboni. So when we find in the some of the places that we find in the scripture where it says Lord, the, the, it could be Adonai, Adoni, or it could be um, uh, Rebbe or uh, Rabboni. You understand? Now we find this right here where it says, Yesus uh, Melso, and Yesus, he, he answered, or in a sense, he could be, he turned, but more, he answered, Min la dargale to wadale. Min la dargale to wadale. What do you want me to do, Allah? He said, I, <laughs> he 
said, I, 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 he says, see, so that I can see, to see, I want to see, to see. He says, so that I may see. He said, I zend. Now, that, that's a whole interesting connection to even how many of us have been using I, I, I and Rastafari, Selassie, I, to, to see, I zend. So, it's, it's translated that I might receive my sight. Bamarinya I zend is what he said. So as to see, so as to I, to I, so I, I, so that I may see. He wanted to have his sight restored to him. And here in verse uh, Hamsa Hulet, verse fifty-two, it said, "Yesu sim heed go imnetihe adnohal Allah." He says, Imnatihi, your subjective faith in I, the object of your faith, has saved you. I don't know how. Already in the past tense, you are, you've, it's already saved you. Your Imnat, your subjective Amen. The Imnat is faith, and the Amen is faith. The difference is Amen is the object, Yeshua, Yehoshua. And the imnet is that which we have, the subjective portion. So he says, imnet to hit. Your male subjective faith, Adonohal, has already saved you. Alo, with the yawun, ayyeh. And immediately he, he saw, b'men negedim, tekatelo, tekatelo. The targum here says, and Jesus said to him, go thy way, or go. Thy faith has made thee whole. In other words, go ahead. Your faith has made you whole. And immediately he received his sight. And immediately he saw. He saw and followed Yeshua and followed Yehoshua in the way. Bemena Gedim Tekatalo. And he followed Jesus in the way he followed him. You understand? Because now he had sight. Now it's often interpreted that this sight that he had was um, some would think that just physical sight. But you have to remember when Christ teaches that he's shown us earthly things, using earthly examples for really their spiritual, to point as spiritual things. So we have physical examples here in the scriptures, but we must understand it in that born-again consciousness on its metaphysical level. So it wasn't just that the man received his physical sight, but that we also in this day and age of Rastafari revelation will receive our spiritual, receive our spiritual sight. And, and this always was the higher interpretation of it. So both is true. Whatever you bind on earth, you bind in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, you loose in heaven. Or as people would say today, as above, so below. So here's another example of um, a Rabuni, you understand, or... Um, uh, some say uh, Rabboni or Rabuni. Now, we have to, let us just correct this up there because what we were doing was interpreting from what uh, the um, other versions of the Bible, the way you read it in the English is the way we just had wrote it up here, but now we're going to put what the Amharic has, Rabuni. So this will be actually not a re, but a, a re, and this will not be o, but u. So re, buni, re buni, re buni, re buni, re buni, and this means our master teacher, our master teacher. Like we said, this does not mean that one cannot be a teacher at like reading and writing. You understand or a, teach, uh, a master at mathematics or carpentry or mechanics or or homemaking or or you know one can be a master or mistress you know, to be top of their field in many different ways. But this is the context of this. Because a lot of people think that this means that you can't be a master or teacher of anything. You have to under understand rather that Christ he teaches certain specific. There are certain specific matters which he teaches. And, and, and this specific matter is the way, the truth, and the life, or what we may call spirituality, you understand, or true spirituality, the true way 
to return to the Father's house. What he teaches is true peace of mind. What he teaches is the way to eternal life. Is there any other who who is a master above or beyond our master, our black Lord and Savior? We admit not. We do not admit that there is any other. And therefore, there is one. It's just like in those um, secular movies and stuff when they said that there can only be one. Well, for us as true Christians, as uh, true Ethiopian Hebrews or Rastafari elect, there is only one who is our master teacher. And what is so interesting is that even in the, the teachings of his majesty, bearing witness to the testimony of Christ, he bears witness of that as well, that anyone who is without Christ is like a ship without a rudder, is lost. You understand? He didn't say, well, it's about me. No, he said, it's about my son. It's about our son. It's about Yehoshua HaMoshiach, the son of God. To us, a, 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 a child is born and a son is given. And this son who was given, you understand, is Yehoshua HaMoshiach. So his teaching and testimony is the main spiritual teaching and testimony. It's through his spectacle, so to speak, that we're to view everything right or wrong concerning spirituality. So as an overview to the rabbi and Rabboni um, lesson, this is a foundation for us. Now there's one other rab here, or reb here, and this is known as Reb Shaka or Reb Sheka, Reb Shaka. And um, properly in the Cruden's concordance that we're using here, we showed this before, rather old, uh, tattered, but still well, um, well uh, loved for for the truth that it contains in it. Um, not judging a book by its cover, as they say. Um, properly, it's a title of a court officer, you know, a title of a court officer. Now we're going to do something very interesting, right? And what we're going to do that we think is very interesting is now that we've got a, a basic a basic idea in context, a basic uh, biblical reference, we're going to go to the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. And, and this is where we love now to get that metaphysical. So we go from the low degrees to high degrees, from basic degrees, a basic understanding. So when we say, well, what is Rab or Rabbi? Rab means teacher or master teacher. Now, as we mentioned, it's a Babylonian title. This Babylonian title crept into Judaism or came into Judaism after the Babylonian captivity of the Beta Israel. This is where this title, or, or Rebbe or Rabboni, before that time, it was not used. You understand? Before that time, it was not used. And the reason why the OJs or other Jews make much use of that is because of the Babylonian Torah and the Council of Jamina. If you don't know anything about the Council of Jamina, um, J-A-M-I-N-A or J-Jamina, Jamina, I think it's J-A. M I N A, the Counts of Jamina. But if you look it up with Judaism along with Jew and Judaism as a as a reference, um, the one of the, the search engines will correct it and give you the right link and you can check it out there. Now, when we go to a, 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 a Rebbe, Rabbi, here in the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary, it goes over the fact that it means my great one. My great one. Like when we say in Hebrew, we say uh uh, Toda Rebba, Toda Rebba, um, um, like thank you very much. To say Toda Rebba is thank you very much. And so Rebba in that sense means much. From a Rabba, a Rebba, multiply, numerous, accumulation, growth, increase, abundance, great, exalted. It was a great city. One time a Rebba was a, was a metropolis, a city of Ammon a hill city, a city in the hill country of Judah. But now, uh, uh, Rebbe, my great one, my lord, my master, my teacher, my leader, my chief. It was a title of respect and honor applied by, they say, the ancient Hebrews to their doctors and teachers. 
Now, Yeshua, Yehoshua, our black Lord and Savior, he warned against thus receiving honor, receiving honor from men. In Matthew 23 and 7, which we've already touched on, uh, the B definition is a title given to Jesus, Yehoshua, and meaning teacher. We find this in John chapter 1, verse 38. So in John chapter 1, I don't think we went over that one. Yeah, Johannes uh, Wengel, uh, Wengel uh, Mi Raf An, chapter 1, verse, uh, 30, verse uh, 38, and actually Bamarinya be 38 and 39, Yesusima Zawar Bulo, Si Katalutim Aito, Mintifala Galachu, Alacho. Rusum Rebi, Wede Tinorale, Wede Tinorale, Alut, Turguameo Memero, Hoi, Maletano. So it says, Then Jesus or Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What seek you? What seek you? Mintafalagalachu? Mintafalagalachu? Like, what are you looking for? What are you seeking? What seek ye? What seek all of y'all? They said to him, Rebbe, which is to say, being interpreted, Master, where dwellest, where dwellest thou? And he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt and abode with him that day. They spent the day with him. For it was about the tenth hour. So if the sixth hour of the day is noontime, it was about four o'clock. It was about four o'clock in the in the afternoon. So now that is the title that was uh, that was given to and was applied to Yehoshua. Was applied to Yehoshua. Now the metaphysical meaning of it is a guiding teaching thought in consciousness of great prominence and influence and belonging to the understanding faculty or the overstanding. So a Rebbe belongs to the understanding of the overstanding faculty in man or in the human being. One must be watchful that the thoughts belonging to the overstanding or understanding, comprehending faculty always recognizes the true spiritual source of all wisdom and do not look to human intellectual reasonings for light or illumination on the various problems that are ever confronting one, that are ever confronting one. The outer intellectual realm in man ever tends to take to itself the honor that belongs to the spiritual only. And we've kind of touched on this before because the context of, of what Christ is saying Concerning in, in uh, Matthew chapter 23 is when he's speaking to the, the scribes and the Pharisees, the so-called religious um, authorities or those theologians. Today we will call them like the so-called theologians, you understand, who are the so-called um, 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 human intellectual reasonings. Now, as we go forward to uh, Reboni, Reboni, Rabboni means my Lord, my Master, my Teacher, my Leader, my Chief, my Prince. Really, it means, um, the real meaning will be more in the sense of our, of, of, of our, of, of the, 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 the idea is both an idea of, of, of all of the Masters, only like, only like the King of Kings. Of all of the, the teachers, the rabbis, you are rabbi of rabbis, and you are our, you are our um, rabbi. Now, this is a title of great honor. Actually, as we outlined here, of the three different titles, uh, rab, rabbi, and uh, rabuni, or raboni, it is the highest of those three. It's a title of great honor, kabareta, that's applied by the Hebrews to their doctors and lawyers, to their doctors and lawyers or the teachers, the Talmudic teachers. It was applied by Mary Magdalene or Mariam Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, to the risen, 
to the risen Yehoshua. Now notice, this greatest title now was applied to Yehoshua after he was risen and by a sisterin, by a sistrin, by a woman. This is, this is also a key, you understand, to spin on its head the false feminist um, lies that have been spread against true Christianity. Christ is a liberator even of the sisters, daughters, mothers, and wives. John 20 and 16. Now, metaphysically they say see rabbi, which we already just saw. But it has a, a further paragraph here that we want to share with you. It says, in the foregoing text, Rabuni or Raboni, it refers to the risen Yeshua or Yehoshua, the spiritual I am in the Labona, in the consciousness, in the consciousness, as the great demonstrating teacher and ruling power. Not only was he a teacher of so-called Jewish and Hebraic law, but he demonstrated and he gave the greatest imare, the greatest demonstration of these, these teachings. So he actualized them. He wasn't just one who could teach it, but he also did it. As he says, those who come to him, those who hear of him, and those who do it, that is what now gains us true wisdom. So those of us who seek true wisdom must come to him, must hear, as well as do that which he has bidded us, you understand, or that which he has taught us, commanded us, and bore witness to us concerning. So he says that those who follow him will do the works that he does and even greater works that he would do. Now, even that in itself is a beautiful and a sweet meditation and, and a good expectation as well. Now, teaching of truth is done most effectively by living truth. The teaching of truth is done most effectively by living truth and by demonstrating it in one's life. And this is, this is the real work of every true Christian, Meshahawian, Messiahite, every true um, follower of Yehoshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is the demonstrating in our life. One must realize one's inherent, one's innermost of the inner, in the inner sense of their being, the inherent I am dominion, that the true I am or the true Yah, the true Yahweh, the true Ehya Shera Ehya, you understand, the inherent I am is the ruler and the dominion of the I am in order to demonstrate fully the good, the tov, the tov or the tov, the tov ma'od, the very good, that one is idealizing in mind. So we may idealize these good things, these good points and principles, but they remain far from us if we don't begin the, the baby step demonstrations in our life. So it's the coming to Christ. It is the hearing of the word. And it's the doing or the demonstrating, the doing of it that brings about that true wisdom, the wisdom that Yehoshua has spoken about. And we find a connection right there in the two foundations. You understand the two foundations found in um, Matthew chapter uh, 7, verse uh, 24 to verse uh, 29. Now, in moving forward with this, Mariam, Magdalawit, Mariam, Mary Magdalene, she used the word uh, Rabuni, Rabuni, as a term of endearment, as a term of endearment, in addition to the respect and honor that were due to Yehoshua, that was due to Jesus as a great, the greatest teacher and the greatest demonstrator, the greatest teacher and the greatest demonstrator. So brothers and sisters, be careful not to follow that worldly spirituality isms and schism that tries to say that Christ was just one of many kind of teachers and so forth. He is the greatest. He was, is, and will be the greatest teacher and demonstrator. All of the teachers and, and, and wise people that truly were wise and seeking the true God, they were looking to Christ. They were expecting the Moshiach, the Moshiach's birth, 
and incarnation was something long expected, long before New Testament. It goes all the way back to the book of Adamana Hewan or the Gedla Adam, to the book of Adam and Eve, and that 5,500 year or 5,500 year period of time when the Moshiach would be born, you understand, through the lineage of, of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov, and into the family line, the particular Judean, Judahite family line of great King David, of great King David. Now, we have a couple of other Reb or Rabs in the scripture. Um, of course, they are, they are lower by, by, by comparison, like there's a Rab Mag, which is Prince Magus, the, he's the chief of the magic, which means great multitude or the high priest, the chief priest, and that was the title of an important officer of the king of Babylon. And there's a breakdown on that as well. There is the Rab Saris, or the chief eunuch as well. There is the Rab Shaka, or Rab Sheka, which was the chief water bearer, or the chief cup bearer, the head of irrigation, overwhelmed by the multitude, and that was the title of an officer of the Assyrian army that came up against uh, Hezekiah, the king of Judah. So that gives us the rab or rabbi in an alternative or opposite sense. You understand? But the true foundation of uh, Rebbe and Raboni is based on the teaching of his majesty, the teaching of Kedemawi Haile Selassie, the teaching of his imperial majesty, which is based on the testimony of Yehoshua HaMoshiach, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we hope that that will be helpful at least to better understanding, better understanding the whole connection of rabbi, what Christ taught about why we should not um, be called rabbi because that would break down the equal brotherhood. He said that we are all wendamamach, wendamamach, and the wendamamach net. We are brothers and we are of the brotherhood. Unfortunately, um, the outer visible church at the, has done that. This is why when it talks about the end of the world, it's talking about the end of two, two main things are ending. The, the Gentile world system, what we know as white supremacy or the, the modern Anglo-European system of, of doing business globally, you understand, it's ending, though they're trying to, to that, you know, hold on to, to all that they stole and got. And then secondly is the end of, of, of the church age. These are the two things that are spoken of in Scripture, and there's a lot of misunderstanding about it because a lot of people talk about, oh, the end, that's another sign, the end of the world, the end of the world. But they don't understand what the world really is in the context that our master teacher, Rabuni, Yehoshua HaMoshiach, has, has taught us. So they do not really, even if they are Christians, they have not done due diligence to really hear, you understand, to really hear the word. They have not heard the word, so their doing of preaching and proclaiming and, you know, the end of the world and, and, and the false sense that the world is going to blow up or something like that is, is totally false according to the testimony of Yehoshua HaMoshiach and the word of Ha Elohim, his father and our father. So there's much more to come, my brothers and sisters, y'all willing. So stay tuned. Shalom. Ras Teferi.